Find the 51st derivative of sine x. To do this, let's take a few derivatives. So f prime is cosine x. And then the next derivative, the second derivative, is negative sine x. We can do that again and take the derivative of negative sine x and we get negative cosine x. Again, we can take the fourth derivative and get sine x. We'll do a couple more. The fifth derivative is cosine x. And again, we get negative sine x. We can see that this pattern is going to start repeating. Notice that there's a cycle of length 4. So that pattern is going to continue to repeat forever. So one thing we could do is count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and count all the way up to 51, but that might take a little bit of time. So a shortcut would be to divide the 51 by the cycle length, which is 4. And we get a remainder of 3. So what that means is the 51st derivative of sine x is the same thing as the third derivative of sine x, which we know to be negative cosine x.